Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again and oh dear oh dear oh dear we had a little bit of an issue as you can see we started this campaign and it was actually going okay we managed to destroy the spider's nest on this corner or rather the spider destroyed itself by dragging a big wooden and metal ship into its fragile body uh, and then after that we then went down over to Kudair mainly because we want to do it like a little cheeky raid and it worked successfully which was all good however the smaller nations the smaller factions have banded together in this sort of four uh, nation alliance and they control pretty much one third of the entire map mainly on the top left but they also have this outpost here so the objective really is essentially not to die although that is a standing order throughout every campaign but we really want to take over as much of this as possible and really knock them down. But the fact is that every time you take something over, the small nations will band together. So you can't just sledge through it. That's something that is new with uh, version 9. But either way, we also uh, built a new ship. If you go to build ship, you can see we actually made this thing, which is the mini Zeppington, which is quite a decent ship. But we also have the Zeppington version 2, which we are going to create as well, which is the big one, the very, very big one, which is quite useful. We've also just seen this thing take taken over as well, which is an interesting one. Uh, straight away it was taken over, and that actually is okay for me, I think. Um, oh my good grief, look at this, they're all changing. Um, they're all one big faction now. I see, the, see this is all changing, so the uh, Chadwick and... hang on, Catwick and Catwick Alliance have joined in an alliance. <laughs> So that's uh, an alliance of four with with an alliance of two joining, so there's like essentially six nations all together. Um, so yeah, that's going to be problematic. I really hope this guy takes Catwick, which I think he will, and yes, okay. So that's actually, that's not too bad now. What's happened here is essentially I've, gone tr I've got control of these two. Uh, the one on the left-hand side here has managed to, I think, been pushed back a bit and only controls one, two, three, four, five cities. I say only five. But then down here, we've now got um, just the one person to deal with. So if we just worry about him and hopefully these guys will keep fighting off this side, we may be okay. But honestly, I really don't know how it is going to go. What I want to do is send some spies into these cities because I want to essentially take over all of this corner right I really need to chop off a corner and not fight a war on two fronts but because of the way the game works because obviously it's a very airship based it's called airships for a, a reason um, they can, you can attack anywhere you know there's no real um, line of defense that like you can't put a roadblock on this little road you just stop at these cities obviously if they're coming down here with a uh, with a um, a vehicle of some kind, then we know we can stop it at Kudair because it has to go through it. So what we'll do is we'll actually build a defense there. We'll actually go to defenses, uh, build building, and we'll build a black citadel. Just a small little defensive structure, but it's, I say small, it's got three flak and three cannon. It's, it's quite a substantial set of uh, defenses there, I think. I don't think it's anything to be... Uh, Knocked. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got another alliance going on. Retropopolis and Catwick Alliance have joined an alliance. So these guys, so the ones on the island, have joined together as well. A lot of alliances going on. It's something that's, like I said, quite new with um, this latest stuff. It essentially means that you can't just sledge one or two and then wait for the others to beat each other up and then you move in. So, yeah, it's a... Uh so we have to think about. So I'm just building up here. So I've got my uh, Black Citadel almost built. These are attacking around here. I have um, this vessel. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to take the Mad Scientist? Or do I want to take the island? I could take the island, you know, because that guy hasn't yet uh, done anything. Like, he hasn't moved over. So maybe if he hasn't done anything, do I want to go in? I don't know. What I do want to do is view this city and see what they've got. They've got a very small ramming vessel on legs, and then they have... Uh, one defensive structure with no flak. Right, that should be quite an easy takeover. Then we'll just invade that straight away and hopefully take this thing over. You can see there's also invading going on there. And I've actually got some pirates coming towards Generican, so we'll have to worry about that at some point. But let's just get this fight hopefully over and done with sooner rather than later. So what I want to do is move these things. Oh, I don't want to reserve them. I want to just move these around like so. Move, actually, we'll put these to reserve. Move that over to there. Move that over to there. Some people have uh, commented on the last episode saying that um, I've been quite lucky in terms of this, the suspendium rocks, that I haven't actually um, 
come into contact with them yet because I've always been able to fly above them. You are right, eventually I'm going to come across an area where I'll have a lot of issues. So I'm going to move my big bomber right over the far, uh, on the far right. This is actually dusk, is it, or is it dawn? It is dawn. Distracting light from the east means that shots fired from left to right are less accurate. Not really too bothered about that because I'm going to go straight over the top, but either way, uh, what I'm going to do is essentially tell this to move uh, along, and these will move up like so. Obviously, we are now dropping bombs right from uh, this thing straight away, and also the cannons from these things are firing as well, but our objective mainly is to get right over here and take that thing out. I'm not too worried about that vessel at all. It does have some guns, but I'm mainly concerned with... Uh, these guys, actually, I've already... Why has one moved out? That one should move as well. There we go. I'm really concerned with this thing here, as you can see. And although the bombs are really doing a number on it... Oh, there's one of those falling out of the sky, which it will do quite often because of uh, the design of the thing. But either way, look at that. That's uh, some nice shots going out. In fact, we might tell that to do... Ah, I was going to say, what the hell is that all noise? It's uh, the amount of bombs falling on them. Yep, it's a lot of bombs. Oh my good grief! We've lost the main suspendium tanks on top of the Zeppington. And the mini Zepp is actually on fire, which is problematic because we can't do anything about it. We can't put it out. We'll tell it to ram over there. I think we're actually going to probably lose it, but that's a small price to pay for taking over these areas. It is falling out of the sky. It is crashing. It is... Yeah, exploding. Cool. What about here, though? Well, it's taken a bit of a beating, but it's still going. Obviously, there's a lot of bombardment going here. A lot of shots going into it. But now we're going to be able to take it out. I don't know. This one can move up to there. This one can move down to there. This one can move slightly further forward to there. Just so we get the other gun in. The other bomb in. I don't think we're going to get them all in. But there's... A lot of them. Mm, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just need to creep it forward a little bit more. Like that. Move that one. There we go. We are now in range. Oh, we've got the arc, should I say. That one can go over the top as well. There's the bombs going in. And that's some very nice lighting. And whoa, them bombs are starting to hit. That is steel armor. I'm pretty sure that's steel. It has to. It can't just be metal. Either way, it's taken an absolute pounding. I've won this one, but at what cost? I mean, that thing's going up, and oh, yep, there we go. We've hit the vital part, and it is gone. There's literally nothing left of it. <laughs> so, Mini Zep lost one. Uh, the rest survived, and then destroyed the other stuff. Gentle take over there. Um, we have the pirates still coming into Generican. Don't know what they're with. Don't know what they've actually got. Going to move back to Kudair. Actually, no, we'll stay back there. Um, we'll have to fight these pirates here. So they've got... Oh, my good grief! Um, Raid. Attackers are looting the city while your fleet is occupied. If you withdraw, your defences will be spared, but the city will be thoroughly looted, which is minus 60% income. These small ones I'm not too worried about. The suspendium tanks, they'll blow up and they'll fall out of the sky. This one, however, three cannon, four cannon, one up there, five cannon. And it's fast. Almost certainly a boarding vessel. Hmm. One, two, three defences. Uh, raid. Attackers are lo uh, lo looting the city while your fleet is occupied. If you withdraw, your defences will be spared, but the city will thoroughly be looted. I'm going to withdraw. So, raid complete. They've run off, so I've lost some resources here. Minus 60% income. I hope, and I don't know, because that's the first time that's happened. I hope that goes back up. Over time, I just don't know. There's them pirates from there. I don't know why they come from me, which is problematic. We might have to go and do a bit of a Wenge at some point. Good pirates have set up base from where they conduct their raids. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let's go to uh, Gil... I thought it was a Guildford there. Guildfield. And what we'll do, we'll have a quick look and um, see what the deal is. I'm actually going to move these back to Kudair because I want to repair them. And we might even go to... Uh, maybe think about building a ground vessel, because we haven't built anything yet. We will repair that one. Repair. Because obviously it lost its top suspendium tank. And... There we go. Right, so... Almost taken over Kranzberg. Gentle takeover. And that will give us actually massive stone walls. 
And this one gives us flamethrowers. So, let's go over to Generican again. We'll go to probably build or design sh uh, landship, I think. Hang on, that's build, cancel. Design landship, and we'll make something that goes on the ground. Because this is something I mentioned last episode about making something that is like a like a he fairly decent tank. We've got large tracks. I don't know if a, a really big ship would be... Uh, the way to go, but let's have a see. Let's have a look at what guns we've got in terms of weapons. We've got dorsal cannons. We've got grape shot. We've got flamethrowers. Never made a. I've never made a flame tank. I've never thought it would be any. I never thought it would be decent. In all honesty, I've never thought. Well, maybe that'd work, but you never know. Maybe a flame tank. Maybe a tank that drives forward, big tracks to get over the undulating ground. Or traverse the ground. And then perhaps maybe even board. Ooh, it could be done. It could be done. We've never done something like that before. So maybe we'll give that one a go. So that's our one, two, three, four, five flamethrowers. Which I believe, do they require coal? They require 100 rounds. Doesn't say. I think they do require. Does it say on here? Flamethrower. One crew member recommended to crew fire arc. No, clip size, hundred rounds. Must be flame. Yeah, so some of these do say it requires unit of coal, so no, it does definitely it definitely requires um standard ammunition. Okay. So over to structural and we'll put a fire door right between these. And we will have a couple of ammos like that. Okay. And a fire door that goes between them. And we will have a fire point in here. And... Um, actually, I might pull that one back. Pull that back one. Delete those. And have a cargo door there. Because if we are going to board, perhaps that's the way of doing it. Do something like that. Perhaps. I'm not sure. But we're going to go with that for now. Okay. And we'll separate these with a the fire door. So uh, if it does blow up, it's not going to take out the other fire one there. So there's that. We'll put a couple of coals in it. Um, probably have that hanging off the back like so. Put supply hatches on the back. Oh, you can't have supply hatches on the back. It's a shame. Do we need that amount, Do we need that amount of coal? How much this does it use? requires a unit of coal every 8 seconds. And how much does this have? Uh, it has... 32 coal capacity. Okay, so one of them would probably do, but we're going for the long stay here. So, there's that. We'll go for... We don't have a repair. This, by the way, in terms of armour, is going to be massive storm wall. Um, four blast and four piercing, whereas a brick wall or steel armour is 12 and 6. But HP is 30, whereas massive storm wall is HP 90. Do you reckon we can make a stone wall? <laughs> yeah, it's actually too heavy to move. <laughs> I think we'll go for steel armor, thank you very much. Yeah, it's just too heavy to move the thing. Right, so, uh, we're missing out on accessibility off from this. Oh, okay, you know what? We are going to have to actually move these back. So we're going to have to move that back to there, move that back to there, pull all these back, pull that back. You know what, I'll put it there for now. I'll connect all these up like so. We will mirror that, and then this one can go in the center like that. Okay. Even though the fire door's far away, but you can run straight through and up and around, so that's fine. That's okay. So, we will have probably troops, marine barracks. Two marine barracks, perhaps? Hmm... Yeah, we'll have two marine barracks. In terms of propulsion we've sorted, command and crew, we will have a bridge up there. Don't think we need a cockpit. No, we don't. Or a crow's nest, even. That would just be silly. Uh, air sail is 24, recommended 21, so that's fine. In fact, that is a legitimate vehicle, according to this. That is a legitimate vehicle. Haven't got a sick bear, haven't got a repair bear. Might be worth having both, actually. 
and putting the repair bay on the machine shop. Repair bay can go in there. So we can repair it. And we can keep it going. But I don't think we've got enough coal, you know. I just There's something about this that makes me uneasy about the lack of coal. Um, perhaps move the bridge. The problem with the bridge being there as well, it's very, very close into this ex where, where the explosion can happen. If we go to uh, overlays and um, explosion damage, you can see that, uh, yeah, if they go up, it's going to take the bridge with it and we'll never be able to give commands. So again, not too happy with that. So I'll remove those. I'll put them up there for now. Move the repair bay, put it up there. The barracks are not too bothered about. The crew quarters, however, can go above that. They're okay there. So we've got the repair bay. We've got the sick bay. And then what I want to do is have in command and crew bridge. We'll have a bridge at the back. So if these go up, they're not gonna it's not gonna remove the orders from it. We might even go to weapons and have a rifle flipped and put a flipped rifle on that just in case something gets around the back we can plink and also if the front blows up we means we can still not going to be we're still not going to we're not going to stop dead the problem being that if we lose all these fronts and if they do go up they probably will take every other one with them uh, if we have this one on the back it means we're not going to be defeated technically because we've still got a weapon to fight with even in reality, it's uh, not going to do anything. Uh, we've got coal stores. Uh, it would be nice to have a sm couple more small coal stores. Whether or not we need them, I, I, I really don't know. Uh, unit of coal every eight seconds. You know what? Mm. So we can last. Well, what? How long? How, what? Unit of coal every eight seconds. We got what? Thirty-two coal. So we're talking what? Four minutes. I think we'll be okay, you know. Armor, sorted. Decoration. We will have a mouth on this one. And an eye. There we go. <laughs> and a large steel nameplate. Currently called the... The alligator. Uh, we'll shove this plate down there. Ah, oh, you know, I'll not put it there, we'll put it there. The problem with putting it at the bottom is these, um, the supply hatch, because it's like outside, or half outside, you can't uh, see it properly. So we'll put it there. Okay, rename. Um, and it is the, hang on, what is it? That's a thing, save design. Uh, GLV. I, knew it was a, I, just, I, knew, I just didn't know what the prefix was. Uh, generic landship vessel, or land going vessel. It is the, I don't know. It's the flame tank, essentially, isn't it? Uh, I can't type it here. Flame tanking ton. There we go. It's the flame tanking ton. And we will save the design. Save that. And we will... Can we build? We can't build. We cannot build... Wrong one. Leave. So we'll have to wait a little bit to see to get the enough money to build up. We're on 57, so that's fine. These guys on the left are attacking. Oh, they're not attacking. Oh, they are attacking. They're attacking the pirates on the right-hand side. Okay, fine. Um, go back here. We should have enough money now if we go to build land ship. Uh, it is the flame tanking to no 1885. Okay, fine. So we still got uh, different things attacking around here. These guys are still well. These are all one faction this is one faction and we've got essentially this one islander um <laughs> on its own not allied with anybody um not really doing much to help out and doing it's pretty much like the uk now to be completely honest with you uh we'll go for build ship um and actually it's not it's build land ship and we'll have the flame tankington there we go so we've had the flak, which was a decent thing. That was a weird one, that. Uh, we, all these struts, by the way, are just like a, like a bumper, like an absorption thing. We've had the mini tankington, which is a fantastic piece of kit. The amount of times I've seen that um, used successfully is uh, quite high. Now, the question is, do we want to attack with these over here? I think we do, and immediately they're going to try and stop me, which means I can then go over there and then move over there. And yes, I am going to take them over, hopefully. And oh no, they've—they're not. They've managed to turn around. 
I'm going to probably lose. Our coup d'oeuvre's already got some defences there. But if I can take um, these over, we should be okay. I might get back in time. Uh, yep, looks like I've intercepted them. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. As soon as this starts, it's raining. Storm. Oh, storm as well. So we'll start, stop immediately, move, and up. Just up as high as you can go. Go, 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 go. And there we are. So we're now higher than their vessels. That's a boarding vessel. As you can see, there's guys just standing on the outside, uh, ready to board. This one is... I don't know. Probably some sort of just a small cannon toting vessel. This one has... I don't know what that's got. It must be... Well, this one's boarding because it's got no weapons as far as I can see. This one is pretty much the same, but it does have a... It does have a something to extinguish itself, which is an interesting choice. Either way, there's the bombs going out. There's the bombs raining down on these vessels. Look at that. Bombs away, lads. Oh, yeah, we've hit some vital and... Oh, and it goes down. Right. We've had... Where's that going? That's had a bit of it. That's had a lot, lot of it taken off. That's interesting. Let's move back here. So, we'll back over. We can't give commands to the mini Zeppington. However, this guy. Uh, I would not like to be those guys standing outside right now. I mean, there's bombs falling near them. It's raining. There's lightning. It's just a just a not very. It's just a horrible place to be. And for some reason, it, it it really wants to just keep going back and forward, look. Why is it going back and forward? It keeps going back and forward, and oh yeah, we've hit the vital part. Suspendium chamber's offline. Oh, no, they managed to get it back online just before it hit the ground. Wow, okay, that was an interesting one. Where's this other vessel? Oh, it's over there. It's, it's actually out of ammo or something. Right, back over to the left, and we'll see what happens when these all get in range. It's great when they get in range, because you just see, like... Bomb, 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 bomb. There you go, look. Man, it's starting to rain. How is it going, mate? How are you doing? Ah, they all missed. Yeah, trying to bomb a target that actually flies is um, quite difficult, but... What on earth? Why do we just lose that? You know what? We've been hit by lightning. We've been hit by lightning, I think. That's what's happened there. I think so. I think we've just been hit by lightning. I mean, that's what can happen in these ones. Oh, there it goes again. And... Yeah, yeah, it's going... No, no, no. It's taken the bit of the tree out. Hey, there's more lightning by the look of it. It's taken out <laughs> even more of this ship, look. Even more of it. Yeah, so we've lost both of the chambers. Which is not something I wanted. But we'll try and get right over the top of it again. Here we go. Another close-range bombing run. And... Oh, that was the one that we needed. Yep, that's it. That's it. It's gone. So we'll move that there. Move that there. Move that there. And this isn't going to last long. It's all stationary. They've got boarding. But, um, oh, yeah, we just blew the back end off. <laughs> and eventually one of these is going to hit something that they really don't want to... Uh, they're going to hit a part that they really don't want me to hit. And there'll just be a... Explosion, it'll just disappear. Not that one. Not that one. That was close. That was that I was that was the one we wanted. That was the one we wanted. And they're out. So uh, no crew quarters on that one. No ammo or another one and disabled. Uh, a mobile for one of my Zeppingtons and the others survived. So there we go. We'll move back to there and we did actually Oh, we did intercept them. Yeah, I think we did actually intercept them there. So I will repair these, which is fine. And just worried about the amount of stuff moving around. Look at all these, all this fighting. It's a lot of fighting around here. With mad scientists and stuff. Haven't made, haven't really got much ground. There's a spy active here. Let's have a view. And they've got. Oh, that's the problem. Yep, they've got a flak walker, and that is something we can't face. Which is why <laughs> over here we are making. Oh, really? Are you really, really doing what I think you're doing? Yes, you are. You are actually trying to attack me in Kranzberg. Okay, fine. I can deal with that, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll move down to there. I'll actually pause it and go to... Um, actually, I won't build anything there just yet. 
Oh, the Jerrican has partially recovered from the war. That's the uh, the problem we had earlier. The oh god, the raiding is the raids coming back. Great, that's not what we wanted. And this guy is coming towards me as well. Can we intercept him? I don't think we can. Okay, so they've got a flak walker versus my defensive structure. I'll be honest, I'm not really too worried unless they've got anything else, and I don't think they have. I don't think the AI's thought this through, you know, if I'm completely honest with you. <laughs> well then, see that thing, it, you know, it was a good counter for the AI to make that. Having, having all of my very high, weak uh, zeppelins and bombers has been working well so far, but as soon as that thing comes along, you know, a walker that can't fall out the sky when it gets damaged and essentially can just sit wherever it wants and just shoot up into the weak underbelly of my ships is a fantastic counter. However, putting it against something that is built to take on pretty much anything, you know, it can take out airships because of the flak, it can take out something in front of it, you know, to, to quote the angry video game nerd, you know, what were they thinking? Really, what were they thinking? The weren't, obviously. Obviously they weren't. Um, I'll max speed it, or I'll, I'll knock it up a bit, because essentially this is just me waiting for that thing to be killed or surrender. The only thing that can happen here is if I run out of ammo. Nope, nope, we've just taken it out, because glory's us. Glory's with us, right, there you go. Couple, pull back to there. Um, the pirate's been defeated. Oh, do you see that? This thing's coming back to killing Rovd, and... What's happened is, I think these pirates were coming towards me, but on the way there, they got their base defeated, so they stopped. Excellent. That's just what we wanted. Right, so we're going to move this thing down to the bottom. We're going to go here, and we'll say, build defences, and we want to build building another black citadel. There has been some uh, people asking me to make a defensive structure. I haven't yet designed a proper one, really. But uh, I do plan on doing that. What we're going to do is have all but the tank move there. And then, oh, they do have a tank. What tank is it, though? That's the question. Uh, we'll send a spy. And you know what? Move back. Gather up. And let's send a big attack. A big attack toward Catwick. Here we go. I don't know what's there. Other than there's a tank of some kind or a vehicle. It is, oh my good grief. It is the flak. Which is not what I wanted to see. And they've got all of that. Hmm. This may not go my way. Do I flee? No. I think it is best to try and take this out. The problem I'm going to have is if that thing fires early, it's going to really hit these hard. I could. I could do this, though. Pull these back. Like so. So they're not in arc of their flak. They are in arc of the main guns on the front of this, though, which is worrying, but they are quite far away. As soon as the game starts, flame tank absolutely annihilates this. We could even board it. And then these guys go up and then straight along. Let's see if that works. Start, go. Click on these, move, and we'll move straight up as far as we can get it. So about there, maybe. There we are. And they'll go high up. And there is already some flak going in. There you go. This thing, I will say ram to... Hang on, this one. Ram forward to there. I'll just go straight through this. I don't care about that. And there's the flame out. There we go. I have a feeling something's gone horribly wrong. Yep, it has. Uh, these guys are pretty much falling out of the sky. I'll say you move over to... I can't really see where stuff is. Well, what we need is like a, a little label to show you where stuff is. When you when it's not on screen, it would be nice to have like a little circle and a label. You get it in lots of other games where it shows you like where stuff is. And there we go. So, I am pushing this thing back and it is pretty much dead. Yep, I am just ramming it. I'm ramming out the way and I'm going to keep ramming till I get there. Through all of the trees, I've completely crushed... Oh, that is awesome! I've completely crushed that vehicle there. I am on fire somewhat. Um, it is burning just a little bit, but we are chopping through the trees. My Zeppelin is getting hit. Okay, uh, where's the other vessels? The one's over here. So we'll see you move to there. This other one, if we can actually move it, which we can still, we have lost 
a lot of the... Well, we've lost the main suspendium tank on the top, but the suspendium chamber is still intact. So that's fine. Moving forward, taking a lot of shots on the front here. It's now stopped for some reason, but I am going to tell it to ram again and keep going. There we go. It's still on fire, but we are putting it out. You can hear the hissing as I am trying to put it out. Going straight through the trees, no problem whatsoever. Um, there's fire all over the place, and I don't know why. And I'm going to keep, say, ramming. Keep ramming, keep ramming. There you go. Chomping through the trees. We have lost uh, a lot of the crew. But it, I mean, it, look what it's weathering. It's taking all of this on. It's stopped, though. And we're running out of repair tools. And it's not. Oh, crap. This is bad. We've just lost. Oh, no. The main. Yeah, the main engine and drives are on fire. However, once we're about here. Oh, yeah, we've just lost the bottom. Right, we'll say board ship. Abandoned ship. We are where we are where we need to be, though. So, there's my marines. <laughs> the marines are going. Go on, lads. Get them. And move troopers into that. Oh, don't say they're just going to try and jump around that. Oh, they are. They're going to just stand around there. Board that one. Yeah, sadly I can't do anything there, but, yeah, telling them to board that one means that they're trying to get over this, and I can't tell them to go to that. It's always been a bit iffy, uh, the crew ones. It's my fault, I should have fixed it, but to be honest with you, yeah, the bombers are um, taking care of business. Oh no, I think move through now. There you go, actually move to that one. Move and board that one now. Can they board it? Yes, go on lads! <laughs> It's a bit treacherous. God, that is awesome, that boarding vehicle. Oh, it's one of my new favourite vessels of all time now. I said that last episode as well when I made the mini Zeppington, but that is awesome. It just, just drove forward, taking shot after shot after shot, weathering all that, uh, all that was getting uh, fired at it. I mean, this building was this tall. There was two big ones, and there was that uh, flak vehicle that we just drove forward Rammed it and kept setting it on fire. Oh, I love that. I really do love that. Gentle takeover, and there we go. We've managed to take over another two areas. So we're on four, and this guy's only got two left. Not bad at all. We're not dead, which is good, but these guys have now joined another alliance. Uh, who is it? Uh, Kranzberg Alliance and the uh, Bard... Bardoom have joined an alliance. I don't know who they are, but essentially these two here. So we've got... Uh, main faction up here and on the right these guys which you've got two these guys which you've got three these which have two and then uh, yeah this guy <laughs> on his own no allies no friends um, seven, just seven all ties so yeah interesting so what we'll do we will build in Catwick, probably a defensive uh, building, uh, once we've taken it over. We need to repair these ones and repel all that comes against us. Take these guys out and then see where we go from here. But those two vessels so far, uh, the Mini Zeppington and the uh, <laughs> the Flame Tankington, which is more like a it's more like an assault vessel, really. Uh, they're just great. I think they're great and they work well and they're interesting. Excellent. So, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, comments in the comments and put suggestions in there for what you think we should make, etc, etc. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.